Fellow Sierra Leoneans, I bring you Eid greetings in advance and wish our Hajj pilgrims their successful final days in the holy city of Makkah and a safe return home to their loved ones. Today, I stand before you to address matters of utmost importance continued national peace and cohesion. I'm deeply grateful for your unwavering support and patience as we navigate these crucial times together. Following the June 2023 multi-tier elections, where I secured the popular vote for a second mandate my government, in collaboration with the main opposition party and other key stakeholders, embarked on a comprehensive review of our electoral process. This was a significant step towards institutionalizing political dialogue and fostering inclusive governance. We also demonstrated our commitment to deepening democracy with our unwavering support and work with all stakeholders through the agreement for national unity. Since the signing of the agreement for national unity, my administration has ensured the establishment of the Tripartite Committee on Electoral Systems review, operationalization of the inter-party dialogue, invited institutions for the formation of a team of moral guarantors and working on a framework to review legal cases. My administration continues to appeal to its international partners, whose support is crucial and deeply valued to continue accompanying the rollout of the agreement for national unity so that it delivers on the prospects of facilitating systems and processes supportive of a national climate for critical reforms, unity, and national cohesion. Fellow citizens, today I stand before you not only as your president, but as a fellow Sri Lankan, deeply committed to the progress and prosperity of our beloved nation. Our journey towards a united and cohesive Sri Lankan is not just a vision. It is a shared mission that includes everyone your role as citizens is integral to this mission and your contributions are deeply valued. Our history, rich with diverse cultures, traditions and experiences, is a testament to our strength. However, we are also aware of the challenges we have faced and continue to face. Challenges that have tested our unity and progress. Elections everywhere are often critical moments of contention due to the obvious divides created by party affiliations, ideologies, and opposing views. This is the beauty of democracy. The minority will have their say, but the majority will have their way. Almost a year after the general elections, my government remained focused on the critical phase of nation building as the time for politicking was firmly behind us. 
building Sierra Leone into a more peaceful, inclusive, and prosperous country requires our collective input. I implore every citizen of our great nation not to be passive bystanders to nation building, but to engage in our national development efforts actively. Your voice, ideas, and actions are not just important, but vital to our progress. You are the backbone of our nation's development. Your aspirations are at the heart of our government's commitment, and we will continue to work tirelessly to fulfill them. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, my government has always prioritized inclusivity and participation for improved governance of our country. I'm pleased to inform you that the challenging task of developing a comprehensive terms of reference and other operational documents necessary for the functioning of the Tripartite Committee on Electoral Systems Review has been making steady progress on a weekly basis since January 8, 2024. This consistent advancement clearly indicates our unwavering commitment to transparency and good governance, which we hold there and we continue to uphold. I'm reliably informed that the bulk of the work has been undertaken. The Tripartite Committee is at the concluding stage of agreeing on the, final, on the findings and recommendations following the substantive review. This will inform the drafting of a comprehensive report for onward transmission to my office. Once received, the report will initiate actions for other processes required to ensure effective rollout and implementation of the Tripartite Committee's recommendations. I recognize the challenges on the path to getting this far. However, I am encouraged by the efforts of the 14 well many members of the Tripartite Committee. I hope that the committee will stay focused and maintain a commitment to completing the task by finalizing the report and submitting it by the due date of June 19, 2024. We are well aware that while the Tripartite Committee is committed to reviewing and evolving workable solutions to strengthening electoral democracy, some ill-informed people who are individuals with malicious intent and a disregard for our nation's peace and progress are bent on exploiting the committee's platform to foment trouble in the country. We would like to sound a note of warning to all involved to cease or be met with the full weight of the law. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, as we eagerly await the Tripartite Committee's report, which will help build the framework for efforts to enhance institutional reforms of our electoral management bodies and subject our electoral laws to the much needed review and amendments, I urge us all to embrace unity and shun divisive rhetoric. We must strive to put the religion first above partisan politic, politics. Peace is the cornerstone of progress and a nation divided cannot prosper. It is imperative 
that we adopt the principle of politics without bitterness, which entails engaging in political discussions and activities with respect, empathy, and a focus on the collective welfare rather than personal or party interests. I call on every Sri Lankan to commit to fostering peace in their daily lives. Let us resolve conflicts through constructive dialogue and understanding. Let us teach our children the values of tolerance and respect so that they may grow up in a society free from hatred and division and love for our nation. Fellow Suryaninians, reviewing our electoral system is critical to strengthening our democracy. In that spirit, during my last address to Parliament, I proposed the establishment of a National Elections System Review Committee as a first step to improving the electioneering process in Sierra Leone. I thank our diplomatic and development partners who have wholeheartedly supported this pathway to peace and progress in our country. I also thank the leadership of the APC and the SLPP for their continued support and commitment to peace in Sierra Leone. Most importantly, I thank every Sierra Leonean citizen for your continued patience and unwavering hope in our continued efforts to build a stable democratic society. In our collective journey towards national unity and cohesion, I call upon every citizen to embrace the values of tolerance, respect, and solidarity. Let us all work together to build a nation where every individual feels valued and included. I re-echo my call for us all to resolutely unite, set aside our differences, and walk towards a brighter future for Mama Saloon. We must remember that we are all stakeholders in Sierra Leone's progress and prosperity. Together, we can build a nation that is strong, peaceful, and prosperous. As I stated during my address to the Sixth Parliament of the Second Republic in August last year, proactive engagement and compromise are indispensable hallmarks of good governance and fostering national unity. To that end, I urge the main opposition, the APC, to demonstrate leadership and in clear conscience speak out frankly to their supporters that we must embrace each other and ensure peace and stability in Sierra Leone. The SLPP government remains resolute in its commitment to promoting peace and stability in our nation. I reiterate my call to our supporters to embrace peace, unity, and progress in Sierra Leone. My government is working tirelessly to address our citizens' concerns and aspirations. We will focus on fostering economic growth, improving education, healthcare, agricultural productivity, and infrastructure, and ensuring that all Sri Leonians feel the benefits of our national development efforts. It is our collective responsibility to safeguard our democratic values and further strengthen national cohesion. We must issue bitterness, political bickering, hate speech, and disunity. 
We must work together, harnessing our energies, ideas, and collectively towards a national agenda that delivers food security, provides jobs for our youth, empowers our women, develops our infrastructure, and prepares our country into a middle-income economy. Together, our vision of an inclusive, peaceful, and thriving Sierra Leone is possible. It is a vision we all deserve. Long live the Republic of Sierra Leone, and God bless you all. <laughs>